Good morning. <clears throat> Happy Wednesday. Only two more Wednesdays today and next Wednesday and then it's the holidays. Can't wait. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Anna. Good morning, Ellen. Hi, Carol. So I just want to check. Can You guys can't hear the music. Can you hear me okay? How are you, Mary? <clears throat> Hi, Allie. Ready for the snow? Yeah, I think so. My husband hurt his leg, so I think I might be doing a lot of shoveling. So yesterday we spent putting things away and kind of getting ready for the snow. Hi, Sheila. How are you? Yeah, well, they're calling for like lots of snow here um, to, today and to tomorrow. So am I ready? I don't know. Hi, Gail. You can hear me well. And you don't hear any music, right? So I just had an idea. I was sitting here. I was a minute ahead of schedule, which is huge for me. Um, and I was thinking, do you want to do a little project together next Wednesday? Or do you think it's too close to Christmas? Do you have too much going on? I was thinking, well, two different things. And I'm not sure how to get your input. But you can tell me what you think. I don't need to do this. Like, I work at, from home right now. So I don't need to do this at 8 o'clock in the morning. Is there a time of day that's better? Would it be better if I did it around lunchtime? Or if I did it later in the morning? That My lives. And the other thing, like we could do a project next week. So I kind of have an idea of something. So, and I'll have to do a post about it to let people know who aren't on here, but maybe come to um, the live painting next Wednesday with some paper and some acrylic paints and maybe markers and stuff, you know, more like mixed media kind of thing. And I have an idea. Okay, good, Janet, you love 8 a.m. I mean, I love 8 a.m. too. Good morning to Spain. Good morning, Emily, love you. Hi, Robin. <clears throat> so let's do that. That would be really fun. Um, I have to play around with my idea, but I think it'll be something cool and fun and and uh, good for the holiday season. Okay, so today I'm going to paint something. I've painted it many times. I love painting it, and it's kind of like a, uh, a staple of the holidays. So I'll show you what we're going to do. I'm going to paint my chili cardinal. I don't know if you guys um, followed me or knew me back then, but I did a whole calendar of birds that had on like crazy hats and stuff. And I think this was part of it. Good morning, Ellen. How are you? Yeah, that's a good idea to kind of do a trial. See what time would work best. Yeah, it's been a crazy holiday season. I'm really excited. I think I had my best, you know, holiday season so far even in the middle of a pandemic, which is awesome. I sold tons of my little ornaments, sold a lot of paintings. I just shipped out, someone had ordered eight little six by six paintings and they were really, it was fun to do it and see them all together. I'll post about it after the gift is given. So, okay, so here we go. Um, Yeah, I've painted this before. I, I love this guy in the scarf. I don't, I love, um, I don't know, it's just fun. Ellen says, I'm good. I still love my Santa bird and his two elves. Oh yes, they were so fun when I was doing that. I forgot about those. I was gonna ask you to paint a red cardinal. Yay, so excited. Yeah, it was like I, I was thinking along the same lines, right? Oh, thanks, Anita. My little heart. I have an idea of something I want to do with them too for um, this year for Valentine's Day. Something different that I think could be cool. I feel like um, life is, I feel like life has gotten just slightly less crazy and I've had so many ideas. Like you have to find space in, in your life to let ideas flow. Um, I forget that a lot no um, but I feel like lately I've just had gazillion ideas now I just have to find the time to implement them all but I'm excited about it <clears throat> so 
So how is everyone? Are you ready for the holidays? I think that's partly too why I feel calmer is because there's not much to be ready for because, um, you know, we usually have like 50 people at our house for Christmas and I don't live in a big house. Not that the size is a lot, but hosting that many people. And honestly, my husband does so much of the work. Um, I just kind of help. Although there was one year when his father was not well and he wasn't here and I had to do it all. But my sisters helped me out with that. Um, but this year just feels more calm because we're not going to have 50 people at our house. It's going to be... Uh, I don't know. I'm either going to love it or I'm going to hate it. I'm going to wish, I mean, I'm going to miss having everybody here, but having everybody here at the same time is always a little overwhelming. Although we are quite good at it, I must say. <clears throat> um, where's this? Go? I have to think about where I am here in this. Oh, I love his little scarf. It'd be fun to do this with all different patterns on it, wouldn't it? Um, all right. <clears throat> yeah, 50 people. Isn't that crazy? And it ends up being, it's like, like my husband's family. I mean, the really, really blessing, real blessing of all that is that m my family, my husband's family, everyone gets along we all enjoy each other and so we all spend the holidays together so it's and now like my son's girlfriend her family usually comes um our neighbors come I just love that that when everyone you know gets along and enjoys each other's company rather than you know I hear family stories where you know they don't get along and they're dividing their time between families and I'm fortunate that I don't have to do that. We can all, and that's kind of how it all started is because we wanted to be home, have Christmas at home for our kids. And so we started doing it here so that our kids didn't have to travel on Christmas day. And it just stuck. I feel like this brush, I don't like the little, you see how the little, um, like the, the bristles aren't staying together. That drives me a little crazy, so I'm gonna, clean this off and put it away. Good morning, Sarah. <clears throat> Hi, Julie. <clears throat> Let me put this. I can't put it too far away or I'll forget to wash it and then it'll be ruined. Okay. What's everybody having today? Coffee or tea? I'm having my coffee and I think it might be kind of a hot chocolate kind of day if it really does rain. <laughs> An idyllic family tradition. It really is. We all do get along quite well and although, you know, our cousin, Mike's cousin Donna usually comes and makes the pierogies and she has COVID so she's not coming. So we're going to have to do that ourselves. I know I'm going to miss all the people. And only, um, this is only the second Christmas since my sister passed away. So that's sad and it's hard not to, you know, I won't be with, probably with her kids, maybe one of them. I don't know. You love it when it rains, do you? To be cozy. Back to hazelnut coffee with coconut milk. Sounds good, Ellen. And why didn't you have that? You didn't have it because you were doing, were you eating um, keto? Do I remember that correctly? Were you dieting? That dieting thing is just no fun. I think... <coughs> black coffee that's much healthier to do it that way I think yes I am thinking 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 that I need to um really be a little crazy with this I was just writing a blog post um I didn't quite finish it yet 
but it's all about the messy middle. I was really thinking about whether it's the middle of the painting or if it's the middle of the process. Like I find messy middles in the middle of the painting, yes. And I also find messy middles um, in my practice. Like say I'm doing some paintings and I'm happy with what's going and I feel like I'm learning and growing and then all of a sudden I'll get somewhere and I'll be like, hmm, no, don't like that, don't like that, don't like that. All And then it's that messy middle and it's that part where you have to work your way through and stay confident and not get discouraged. That's what I was writing about. And so I'm going to have a, a blog post about that. Um, but I think I'm going to intentionally give myself a messy middle on this painting and challenge myself to pull out of it. Like, do you know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense at all. Julie, you have the messy middle. I always have the messy middle. And then the messy, messy middle in the middle of the painting too. Like I'll be working away and I'll be like, oh no, I don't like this at all. What was I thinking? This looks terrible. And then you work your way through and after a while, usually, almost always, it turns out. And if it doesn't turn out, usually, always, you've learned a lesson through it, which is magic, really a little bit of my Indian yellow. So I might just let this get messy and see if that's a good thing or a bad thing because the worst thing that can happen is I don't like it and you can always start over. Now it's a little harder with great big paintings that you invest so much time in but I think that's part of why I love doing my little paintings because there's no pressure. And Gail says, you really have encouraged me to just have fun in the messy middle. Yes. Yep. Oh, almost always. And if not, we throw it out and tomorrow is another day or another painting. Not be precious. Okay. I think I'm even going to get some green in here because I feel like it. So now I'm going to get really messy. Judy, I'm getting ready to paint some paint some small paintings for my mom who's 94. She loves her birds on her feeder, but it's often in her bed now. This way she can see them all. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, from her bed. That's nice. She'll love that. It's like bringing outside in for her. For your mama. You're lucky to have your mama. Oh, you do, Sandy? All right, let me turn that down. I don't know if my headphones are working or not. See if I take my headphones out. Can you hear me better or worse right now? Of course, there's a time delay, so I don't know if I'll know, and I'll put them back in. I don't know. Can you hear me plugged in or not? Oh, I think they are now. Maybe they weren't. <clears throat> see if that works. Can get really messy. Really, really messy. I put my painting in the mid in the middle away and then come back to it. If it that's not yep, that's a good thing to do too, is to put it away and take a look at it later. I've been working on playing around with um, doing a lot of transparent layers of color and um, now wait, I'm, I'm thinking about, sometimes I can't think about my painting and talking at the same time. I've been playing with transparent layers so it's, it's like then I'm working on a layer of painting and then I put it away for a few days till it's quite dry and then I get it out again and it's kind of a whole different practice than how I'm used to painting where I paint the entire painting and then um, I'm finished this way I, I feel like I just keep getting it out and I see different things you know one process isn't any better than another but it's it's a fun thing to experiment with I'm really enjoying it Oh, 
Oh, what red red stick? Did I use a red one? Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I love this. is one of my favorites. I have to work on my favorite supply list some more. Um, Quinacridone magenta. That's a favorite. <clears throat> I have paper towels already and I, I'm still pulling off new ones instead. Maybe I'll make his scarf be this teal color and white. That would be fun, right? I'm gonna do that, Let's see how it looks. Look how fabulously messy he looks. Oh, good, Gail. Oops, it's got a crunchy piece on it. Clean that off. And I need a little bit of blue. And then my very light color. Looking very blue, is it? Look how messy he looks. Too much pigment stick on there it's just getting a little mushy so i'm gonna stop i know i love the transparent layer too i love how wonky it looks right now i'm always drawn to like children's art too i wish my i guess that is something i'm always aiming for with my art is to have it look more spontaneous and free like that <clears throat> and it does at this stage and somehow it gets turns into a grown-up painting Okay, so, okay, and I have to turn my phone, move my coffee out of the way. I'll show it to you a little closer, and then I'll move this over. So that's what he's looking like right now, and there's my reference. <clears throat> when you wait on your paintings and then come back, do you glaze it before painting? Yes, I kind of do it with a color, so I... The cute and lit it. I got these little antique, I guess, I don't know, maybe they're little shot glasses. Oh, there has a tag on I have to clean that off. But I'm kind of, I was looking for a little container, and then I put, I've been playing around, like, with these little things, with the walnut oil and this brush cleaner. I actually used that kind of as a solvent, and I thought I had another one here, too, but I don't know what to do with it. Um my uh, acrylics area is messier than my oil painting area right now. Try some pigment sticks. I love the pigment sticks. They're, they're a fun way to loosen things up. Okay, so I'm going to mix some colors up. Um, I think I need my darks to be a little bit purple today. Although that is not enough. And that paint's too dry. I'm throwing that away. I think I need to put a little bit more black out here. I like how black, black. Black really isn't black. Like, I love this. <clears throat> this black is um, ivory black. It's kind of a blue black. I really like it. <clears throat> Very fluid. Alright, that's nice. I need some lovely reds. That red feels a little dry. I might better use some of it though. 
I've been needing to clean my area here. Maybe before the weekend. <clears throat> Do you follow fat over lean principle? Yes, I do. <clears throat> I try to keep it really thin in the beginning and then I'm thicker as I go along. <clears throat> I even have this. I wanted to get some Merge. It's something that like David LaFell uses. Um, but I have this, it's called Italian Wax Medium. I keep itching to use it. It's laying here because I wanna play around with it. And it, um, <clears throat> it is like to thicken, to put some really like juicy, thick pieces of paint onto a painting. But then it takes a long, long, long time to dry. <clears throat> and I don't have patience for that. So I don't know how that'll go, but I should try it on something small. Good morning. <clears throat> um, all right, I need some darker reds. And then I might... Um, thinking about... Instead of making his scarf white, white and it's a nice red. <clears throat> Instead of him making his scarf red and white, I think I'm going to make it red and like a teal color. I think that would be super fun. So let's see how this would look. I like that with the red. I think oranges are very in style this season too. <clears throat> or should I make it skew a little more green? Let me add a little bit of this green in here. Well, that might have gone too green. But we're being wild and crazy, so it doesn't matter. Is that too subtle? Too not wild and crazy? No, I kind of like it. It's a little yellow. Oh, that has so much more personality, doesn't it? We're being fearless today, not hesitant. All right, we'll see how this looks. <clears throat> All right, let me pick up. All right, I need a sip of my coffee. <clears throat> Where's everybody um, tuning in from today? Better with yes, I agree, Anita. Baja Mexico. Wow, that's awesome. I've never been there. Houston, Calgary. So fun. I'm in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Wet cold England. Wow. Julie, Oklahoma. And Ireland. Beautiful these places. I hope when life gets a little easier, I can travel more than I ever have. It's not something I've done a lot of because I've always
been busy being a parent and never got to do that. Oh, Anita, I love this. Bright. Well, this is the Rosemary Clip Short Plaid that I love. It's size 8. I think I need maybe to treat myself for Christmas and get one of every size of this kind of brush. <clears throat> Iceland, Ottawa. Hi, Karen. How are you? I've been loving your paintings that you've been posting. The colorful background, yes. I'm trying to be a little wild and crazy today, so we'll see how it works for me. I've got nothing to lose. Like I said, I can just throw it away if I don't like it. Although I do have all of you guys watching me, that does add just a tiny little bit of extra pressure. <laughs> but only a little bit. <clears throat> Good, Karen, I'm glad all is well. Karen came to one of my my in-person workshops, the last workshop before COVID began. And it was extra fun. I thought so. I gotta get in here and play with those eyes a little bit. <clears throat> Sometimes I like to get in and work on the eyes so that I don't get, um, I don't know, it keeps me confident, I guess. Keep me confident. Keep anything you have to do to keep your confidence up is, I think, so important. background <coughs> too. I want to intentionally let some of these wild colors show, not cover them all. <clears throat> I'm stopping to think a little bit about what I'm doing. Always important. And it's only 8.30, so I don't need to hurry.
<clears throat> oh, thanks, Karen. So are you guys all ready for the holidays? You have all your shopping done? I guess there's really... <clears throat> Izzy and I ran around yesterday and did a little bit of last minute shopping because I definitely don't have everything I need, but most people won't be here on Christmas Day anyway, so I can always pick things up. You know, I'm guessing people will visit little by little maybe after the holidays. So I'm not... And I'm not shipping anything. I shipped tons this year. I shipped out tons of paintings, more than ever, <coughs> which was exciting. I think I've mastered shipping, not mastered it. I don't know if anyone ever masters it. Plus the fact that, you know, packages, the whole shipping thing's a mess right now, made it a little more challenging, but hopefully everything gets where it needs to. I'm kind of letting that up to the universe and not worrying about it because that would probably drive me crazy. Christmas in July, I love that idea. Yeah, maybe we should always do that. Maybe we'll do our big Christmas party in July. That's a great idea. And be outside. It's a crazy looking background. I have this new um, brush that I got from Rosemary and Company. It's called a smooshing brush. Maybe I'll play around with that in this background to kind of soften the all the mess that I have in there. Although I kind of like it. I like it's kind of jaggedy. And sometimes when you do things and paint differently or go out of your comfort zone, like sometimes you find a new something new that you add into future paintings, which is really fun. Because if you never experiment, you never learn, and you never grow. That was one of my points of the messy, enjoying the messy middle. And in this case, I'm letting myself have quite a messy middle, aren't I? Reckless, crazy, messy middle. Anita said, I feel like we have more time to have Christmas. Yep, yeah, in small groups, yes, I agree. I feel like I'm enjoying this pace. I'm gonna try my smooshing brush and see see how this softens. Although my brush feels a little, I just washed it. It feels a little stiff. Kind of like that. Definitely experimenting. Might be, is it too distracting the background or do you like it? I think I like it now that I'm softening it. Can I make acrylics? Make them? I have no idea. Oh, how can I make acrylics? Gosh, I can't even read what your word is there. Oh, smushing brush. Um, you mean to have acrylics if we do that? That if if I always do that. And they're so noncommittal. When we do our little activity next week, um, just bring acrylics, whatever you have. Um, any kind of paint, whatever you like to work with. I could do more of that if I need to. Not distracting. Okay, then I'm going to stop with that and work on him a little more.
He kind of looks like he glows a little bit, doesn't he? Trying to let all those little fun splashes show through there. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to keep him spontaneous. <clears throat> I need this little that's better. Are you meant to get snow? Well, I think they're calling for the last I heard last night was they were calling for, I think, 8 to 12 inches here. But I always think that they overpromise and under deliver, so I don't worry about it too much. But the fact that I might have to do a lot of the shoveling, I'm a little concerned. All right, let me play with his scarf a little bit here. <clears throat> 12 to 14, Ellen. <laughs> well, Ellen lives right near me, so Ellen knows better than I do. 12 to 14. That's crazy. We haven't had a big snowstorm like that in a long time. We often um, have, like, hot chocolate martinis with our neighbors on snow days that are that crazy. I guess that won't be till tomorrow. I don't think it's right, Ellen. Is it not coming till like later today? I have to get Izzy to work. I hope they're wrong. Yes, I do too. It'll be a lot of chaos. I think we're a little. I think we are a little less bit agree with your weather. Yeah. Oh, your weather's like our weather here. Jackie, where are you? I forget. this um 
Oh my gosh, you guys are talking. I missed it. I didn't see my thing scrolling. Slush, but the slush. Yeah, I ate the slush. Please save the live. Yes, I will do that. The weather app shows snow or, oh. It does? I don't see any out my window. But that means it's coming soon, right? Yikes. But it will be fine. Whatever we get. looks very different from my style, doesn't it? Um, do we feel like this blue is... Um, no, I like it. Sometimes I feel like I'll get lost in thinking that something like that the blue is not dominant enough, but you need restful places in your painting also. Sometimes that's something I need to practice is allowing the spaces of rest to shine also. So I've, I love color so much that sometimes I feel like I'm too focused on color. Now I need to um, do some brighter red in here. This scarf is cute. Oh, good. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you. Um, I think... to lighten my red a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That adds a little bit of pizzazz. That's what we were needed and to sexy it up just a little bit. We need a little sexy. I like how chunky it is. A bright, a dull, a dark, and a light, a bright, a dark, and a, a yep. Yeah. Is that right? A bright, a dull, a dark, and a light. Yes, that's what we always need. You always have to double check to make sure you're having those in your paintings. Thank you for that reminder, Ellen. His nose look crooked. I think it does. I think his nose looks a little crooked here. That helped a little bit. I need to lighten this here. Here. Now I think I have to go in and work on his eyes just a little bit more. What I have, it's 45. Oh, we're good on time. Think the background's okay is it too i think this feels heavy right here i think i'm gonna lighten that a little bit right here this feels a little heavy let me get my smooshing brush and smoosh that a little bit I'm seeing that just by look. I'm actually looking in the phone, in the camera, what you're looking at. And that's what helped me see. My eye kept going there. And that's not like a point that I would definitely want your eye to travel to. All right. Now let me look at his eyes a little bit.
Is there pink on? On what, Ellen? I might look a little, little, I don't know what, something's wrong here. Oh, that's better. My iPad charge keeps dying out because my kids take the charger. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, nothing is sacred in our house. Um, I only have one daughter at home now, and um, it's not quite as bad, but yes, I seem to lose things like that quite often. Um, okay. And then there comes a point, too, where you have to look at the painting and not look at the reference. Um, because I'll tend to keep looking at the reference over and over again. And sometimes you have to do things to a painting. Oh, the smooshing brush. Oh, what are you asking me about it, Aaron? Or Aaron, Ellen? I love my little smooshing brush. Smooshing is fun. I enjoy smooshing. But I like saying smooshing instead of smooshing. Are there any other areas that you see that I've missed? Any big spots where, oh, I see right here. I missed, um, there's, um, I love letting that spontaneous stuff happen. Like, it's much, much, much looser than I usually paint. So thank you for helping me do that. Because I'll go two steps forward and three steps back of, like, being spontaneous and letting things happen. And then all of a sudden, my paintings will start to get tight again. And I just have to step back, do something to mix it up, like, by, like really pushing the spontaneity of this underpainting, it helped the painting itself be more spontaneous. Um, I love the spontaneousness. background good thank you Ellen thank you Anita um is there anything else I need to do is there anything I missed oops he's so cute I don't know I think I need to stop does he have a name? He needs a name. What could his name be, guys? What should we name him? What's he look like? Thanks for the demo. It's lovely to join your painting. Oh, good. I'm glad that you come. I'm glad you guys come hang out with me. Um, I don't know what to name him. Let me know what names you think would be good. Let me know. Um, also... Oh, well, no. So Wednesday we'll do a little activity together next Wednesday. So just bring your acrylic stuff. And that'll be fun. And I'll post. I'll put it in my... Do you guys all get my newsletter? Be sure you're signed up for my newsletter if you want to be part of that. Because I'll send out um, information on it. And I'll, I'll post this painting in okay I gotta stop because I'm gonna mess it up all right so that's let me see here better light can you see him okay 
Look at that face. All right, so, oops. Thanks for coming. And I will, I know snow is on the way, Judy, I know. Um, I'll post this in, um, on my, um, whatever. You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to post it on my blog, and I'm going to post it in YouTube. Bring your stuff along next week, your acrylics and some paper, and we're going to do an activity. And I'm so glad you guys came to hang out with me, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Stay dry, stay warm, stay safe.